Welcome to Olen, a straight shooting, science-based podcast about periods, fertility, and nurturing health outside of unrealistic beauty expectations. We will mostly, but not exclusively, focus on hypothalamic amenorrhea, HA, a component of the female athlete triad and relative energy deficiency in sport. I'm Dr. Nicola Rinaldi, scientist and lead author of the book, No Period, Now What?, I specialize in helping people understand how their eating, exercise, and lifestyle habits are keeping them from hormonal health and their best life. My work focuses on regaining periods, improving fertility, and breaking free of the rules of underlying diet culture. My name is Florence Gillet. I'm a certified eating psychology coach and the founder of beyondbodyimage.com. I specialize in mental recovery, helping people let go of toxic health beliefs to finally feel at ease in their bodies at any size. Every two weeks, the All In podcast brings you real recovery stories, expert insights, and new scientific research on HA, hormonal health, and fertility with an unmissable touch of body respect and women's empowerment. Just a reminder that this podcast represents the opinions of the hosts and their guests. The content here should not be taken as medical advice. It is for informational purposes only. And because each person is so unique, please consult your healthcare professional for any medical questions. Music by the Andy Shulman Band, available on Spotify. Hello, Nicola. We are finally here. This is the first episode of our new podcast, and we are so excited because we've been thinking about this for a long time, right? Yes, it feels so great to finally be recording and getting this out there. I know. And so um, we thought that just something to start with would be um, for you to explain a little bit why we wanted to call this podcast All In. Definitely. So I would say that all in is really the defining principle of recovering from hypothalamic amenorrhea, which is really what this podcast is all about. Um, when I first discovered HA, I joined a message board online called the Fertile Thoughts Forum. That was the genesis of my book and all my work since then. Um, we called it going all in when you were eating all the foods and not restricting and cut out your high intensity exercise. And that's become the basis for the whole recovery plan that is detailed in the book, No Period, Now what, um, that has to date helped thousands of women recover their missing cycles and so much more. Um, it's technically defined in the book as eating a minimum of 2,500 calories, plus or minus some. There are a lot of details in chapter eight of the book, as well as cutting out high intensity exercise. So those are the basic principles. Um, also reducing mental stress as much as you can. And there is a lot more to it than just those few things, but those are kind of the guiding ideas. The term all in has become more common as people read the book, put the principles into practice and share what they're doing, which is fantastic because the more we can get the word out about all the benefits of truly fueling your body and exercise and changing your mindset, the better off we will all be. Um, we thought that this all in podcast would be a nice way to bring more people into these ideas. Yes, absolutely. And um, you were talking about, you know, really the mental part of recovery. And uh, this is really why I'm here as well. Uh, we wanted to kind of come together um, to speak about the mental and body image challenges of the all in process as well. But the way I see it is once you've gone through recovery, you'll also learn how to honor yourself and listen to your own cues and intuition and be genuine and authentic in that way. So it's really asking yourself about how do I show up in my life in an all in way and how do I get rid of the I should and how do I stay true to myself and let go of pleasing people. That's also why we wanted to give that name to the podcast and why in every episode we want to do a little check between us and with our guests as well to say, how are you all in right now in your life? So how do you honor yourself? How do you show up for your own values? How do you refuse some of the messaging that is outside of you that might not be serving you? So that's also the way that I see all in and that we're going to talk about it uh, in this podcast. 100%. Um, one of the things that we wanted to tell you all about in this little mini episode is what's actually going to be on the podcast. Um, so Florence, why don't you get us started and tell us a bit about what the plans are? 
Yes, a big part of the podcast will be to cover the basics of HA recovery from a physiological point of view. And we're lucky because obviously Dr. Nicola Rinaldi has done all of the research to help us out in figuring out what is really going on when we have HA. Uh, But we will also be talking with those who have recovered their periods about their individual stories. Absolutely. I think that's one of the things I'm really excited about is sharing a lot of the individual stories that people have experienced um, and shared in our Facebook support group and uh, online in various places. So that's going to be, and in the, yes, and in the book. Really what made the book stand out for me is that it has all the kind of science and evidence, which makes you feel that you can totally trust it, right? This is not a method that we suddenly invented. Um, but also you can read about other women facing the same challenges as you as yourself. So that was definitely important. Yeah, I think feeling that community and feeling having other people around you who are going through the same thing makes a huge difference in recovery because when you're pushing back on diet culture and all of the things that we're all of the shoulds like you were talking about it can feel very lonely and very hard to do and so having a community totally. of people around you that are also in the same boat and you can vent you can vent with and share stories and all of that it makes a huge difference to the recovery process yeah Another thing we're going to do that I'm really excited about is um, bringing in experts in various fields. You know, there's been some recent research on hypothalamic amenorrhea and bone density and all of that kind of thing that I'm really excited to speak to some of the um, research authors about. So we're Mm going to do that. Um, And it's one of the cool things about No Period, Now What? and the whole all-in process, like you were saying, Florence, is that it's based in science and there are logical, rational explanations for why things happen the way they do and why we make the recommendations. Um, I'm a scientist, so that's kind of my thing. (laughs) So we're going to talk about the basics of HA all in um, HA versus PCOS, which is a problem with misdiagnosis and, you know, then what you do to recover from each of those conditions. Um, Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about dealing with body anxiety and other challenges that are really common in recovery, like challenges with decreasing exercise, leaving diet culture and thin obsession behind and putting it in the rearview mirror so that it doesn't affect our lives in the future. Yes, self-acceptance is a really big part of recovery, mostly to make sure that recovery lasts, right? So the chances of relapse are actually higher when we don't do the work, um, the mental work of letting go of diet culture, of recognizing that our worth is not in our size and the number on the scale. So we will chat about how to deal with weight gain and recovery. Do you actually need a scale to start with, right? Um, What are the ways that you can take care of yourself when you feel anxious, but that are not maladaptive and causing you to, for example, lose your cycle? Uh Um, Did I forget something, Nicola? I think that covers it. Um, And of course, we're going to take the license to cover other topics as they come up and as we desire. Um, And I think the last thing to share is that our values are integrity, evidence, and inclusivity. Um, Integrity Mm -hmm. is a big part in of all in, as you already discussed, um, being true to ourselves and our beliefs. Evidence, obviously, the science being able to support what we say with clinical studies, evidence from medical profession professionals, dietitians, people who work in this field all the time. And then inclusivity. Um, one of the big problems in the medical practice around amenorrhea and diagnosis is the idea of this being something that's only restricted to a certain body type or certain body size, certain exercise level, anything like that. And that's totally not the case. Um, You know, anybody of any body size can experience HA. You do not have to be an Olympic level athlete, um, any of that. So we really want to include everybody, all body shapes, sizes, colors, genders, orientations, everything. Um, This podcast is meant for everybody and every body. Yes, every space body, right? Yes. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, and I think I really love that you mention in a lot of what you do that uh, your work is for people who have periods. Um, so you don't have to recognize yourself as cisgender to find that the information you will find here is relevant. Um, and yeah, I think that's probably it. We are very excited to start on this new journey together. And um Yeah, we'll see you on the episode number one, which will be a bit more about both of our own recovery stories and how Nicola started what she started with the book and uh, how I became a coach. So thank you, Nicola. Thank you, Florence. And I'm really looking forward to sharing our stories and then getting into talking with all of the other people that we're planning to speak with. Hey. All right. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, maybe take a few minutes to reflect on it and how you have been all in this past week. It always strikes me how different each person's all in journey is. As I often say, there are many paths to HA and many paths out of it. Your journey is unique. That is so true. And if you need more support on your journey, you should definitely start with No Period Now What, which you can get at noperiod.info slash book. And Florence and I both work with people on different aspects of period recovery and so much more. So if you'd like more personal advice and attention, you can go to noperiod.info slash appointments to schedule a time to speak with me on fixing the issues underlying your missing periods and figuring out what those issues are. And I'm at beyondbodyimage.com to work with me on the deeper emotional issues and your body image. I also run a French Instagram account, aminore underscore fr. And obviously you can find Nicola at no period now what on Instagram. We also have joined clients, so you can access both our domains of expertise at the same time. If you enjoyed this podcast and found it helpful, please drop us a review to help more people find it. Also join the No Period Now Work Recovery Support Group at noperiod.info slash support and let us know how All In is going for you. All In is not just about period recovery, it's about getting your life back. See you in two weeks. You were lost in Babylon, you got lost again. You were lost in Babylon, and found yourself in then. Take all that you've learned about what love and loss, pleasure and pain, and never get lost, never get lost again.